Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do uh, your weekly reading. This is going to be uh, July 27th through August 2nd. Please remember this is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Um, if you'd like to check out your other signs, there is a playlist link in the description box as well. And then the last thing that I have for you is I am doing a giveaway at the end of every month. I'm giving away two personal readings to enter. You just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. Just need to like and comment. All right. Uh, I do do a winner's video at the first week of every month. And um, so be sure to watch out for that video so you know that you are a winner. Okay, Sagittarius? Let's get started here. Just want to also say thank you for all your likes, your shares, your comments. I appreciate them. Um, and I do read them. It just takes me some time. Okay, so let's get started here. Ooh, we got too many cards. But we had man holding a heart, or I'm sorry, man holding a coin there. So let's see here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Sagittarius is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Sagittarius the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. <clears throat> I pray that this will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there only be love and light here. Amen. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to pull um, two cards from the Romance Angels. Now, for the weeklies, anything goes. can be about love, career, finances, um, a lover, a loved one. Loved ones can be family, friends, etc. So take the messages, how they resonate with you. Energies can also be reversed as well. So let's get two cards uh, for Sagittarius. Two cards for Sagittarius. Let's get one more card for Sagittarius. Excuse me, sorry, there's like a little hair there. All right. <clears throat> So the first card you have, beautiful energy here from the Lover's Oracle Doc. You have Angel of Love. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. All right. So I feel here um, definitely your angels are looking out for you. All right. I feel here you also have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like a lot of you may be working on your self-love here, all right? I feel like you're being guided by your angels to really focus on you and focus what's important for you and loving yourself, okay, and not doing for everybody else is what I'm getting, all right? This can be an indication that um, love is on its way, um, but in order for that to really happen, okay, for the really true love that you want, I feel here your angels are saying you really need to focus on you and what's important to you, okay? So this can be, I feel like this can be new love. Sorry, I'm going like this because there's a fly uh, flying around. Uh, somehow got in the house. Anyway, so um, I feel like this is a message that you really need to focus on you and loving you, okay? Um, and whether you're wanting love in your life or not, this is in general. Um, but if you are wanting love in your life, I feel that's very, very important. Okay, that's how you're going to attract love, by loving you. Okay, now the next card you have is children. Your love life is being affected by children. I'm getting two messages here. Okay, for some, I feel like, yes, you may have children um, and you may be taking care of children or have responsibilities with children. Um, that may be kind of interfering with your love life at this time. Um, but I also feel here too, um, this loving yourself first could stem from childhood uh, situations, okay? Um, that maybe, you know, affected your self-worth, okay? So there may have been 
childhood situations or behaviors that you learned um, that maybe weren't healthy, okay? And that's why you're here now really learning how to love you, okay? Instead of taking care of everybody else or, um, you know, trying to make everybody happy. Now that's not gonna be for everyone, okay? So let's uh, move on with the tarot, see what comes out. All right, so let's cut this deck. And this is the Crystal Visions deck. I get people ask me what deck this is. All right, so thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? July 27th through August 2nd. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. We have the Seven of Cups, and we have the Hangman. Hmm, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> we have the King of Pentacles. I saw a man with a coin drop out earlier with the um, Energy Oracles, so I knew an offer was coming here with the King of Pentacles, all right. Or this can be also something else, which we'll get into. But, all right. So, I feel here you have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Seven of Cups here, okay? I feel here, Sagittarius, um, I feel like you have a lot of blessings coming, okay, is what I'm getting here. I feel like things are going to turn in your favor here. Um, this Seven of Cups energy here in this deck, I always see the Seven of Cups of having a lot of options and having a lot of good options. You can see the rainbow and um, the dragons holding, you know, four different chalices. And, you know, I almost feel like, you know, the, the dragon's rescuing this person, okay, from, you know, maybe the choices that are below that maybe are not as good choices, okay? So I feel here there may have, you know, been some past things that um, maybe weren't good choices and you're closing out those old cycles or those old patterns. Um, and I feel here that um, you're going to have a lot of opportunities this week and they're going to be happy. So I do feel like things are going to go really well this week. Um, but we also have here the hangman, right? This can be about delays, but I feel here um, this is also, you know, with having so many options here, I feel here you may be feeling like you're a little tied up this week. I also feel here too, this can also be um, you, face, you being able to see things from a new, a new perspective here. Because you have the wheel and the seven of cups here, I feel like you're going to have some options this week and you may look at things very differently and I feel that's a good thing here. Okay, you have water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you have King of Pentacles here, um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So I do feel here there is um, some type of offer coming in for you, something that's stable, something that's solid. Um, so these opportunities that you're looking at uh, could by, be financial opportunities as well. Um, if this is love for you, this could be an offer, definitely um, a new love coming in here, okay? Or it doesn't have to be a new love, it can be somebody already in your life. All right, so let's... Um, <clears throat> Let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? July 27th through August 2nd. Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. <clears throat> Six of Cups. The World card. Beautiful. Oh, five of Wands. Just when I said beautiful, but that's okay. It's not bad. Oh, and we have the tower, <laughs> tower card. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel here there may be a situation here. You have the six of cups, okay? 
So I feel like this is this is soulmate energy. It could be somebody from your past here. Um, I feel here that they're saying here that things are going to turn into your favor with this situation. Okay. It can be an unexpected um, development that happens this week as well. Like I said, you have many options here. We also have the world. Okay. I feel here too, this could be for some of you, you may have to travel unexpectedly, okay? Um, this can also be um, someone you're dealing with, maybe at a distance here. You or this person may have other options or a lot of things going on that's um, keeping them tied up or keeping you tied up here is what I'm getting. If this is not love for you, I feel like this could also be about a friendship with someone. Um, um, or like I said, something financial. But you do have here the hangman and the five of wands. So I feel here there may be some conflict here this week, okay? Um, there may be something unexpected that happens um, that's causing some conflict, okay? Now, it can be, there can be some distance between um, you and somebody else, all right, that's causing this conflict. Somebody may be tied up because they have a lot of options. May, I feel here too, may be busy with work, all right. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. So we talked about the tower card already, and you could be dealing, um, this is actually your Actually, this is your energy here, Sagittarius. So Spirit just gave me another message. This can also be your um, internal conflict here, okay? Um, I feel here like maybe feeling like you can't get anything done, okay? You're tied up here. See, this person's tied up. They can't get anything done. Um, you know, they know they have a lot of options or you may have a lot of things going on, all right? And things are going well, but maybe you're just spread too thin is what I'm getting here. And that might be the shakeup this week. You have a lot of, of options, but you don't have the time or energy is what I'm getting. All right. And then you have the full card. All right. So I feel here... Um, for some of you, you may be, uh, have some inner conflict about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, starting something new, all right? Because I do see here you are closing something out, okay? I feel like you're, and it wasn't your choice. This is destiny here, all right? Destiny is, you know, the wheel's turning. It, it never stops. Um, you know, things happen. We don't understand why, um, but that, you know, is divine timing there. So I feel for some of you, you maybe leaving something behind from the past, which is helping you to love yourself first. Um, and now I feel here, something's going to happen, I feel here, to make you, to help push you forward and take this new leap of faith, this risk. And it may be with one of these options here. Look here, you have Ten of Cups, okay? I feel for some of you, if this is a love for you, it may be a risk of uh, a relationship here okay taking that risk to move forward in uh, something more committed and something more long term could be dealing with a cancer scorpio or pisces and then look we have pisces energy again here with um, the unknown card so i feel like there may be some fears here sagittarius um, some inner conflict here about moving forward w with whatever this is. It's, if this is not love, this could just be something that you're very emotionally attached to and you're having fears about moving forward with it. Or you're feeling right now you can't because you got so much going on. You have too many things and opportunities available to you right now. And then look here. Your card here, Sagittarius. Right, so I feel like through all of this, you're trying to keep things under control, trying to keep your emotions under control. I feel, um, you know, like I said, this is part of your destiny, your spiritual path here, and I feel like um, you're being guided as well. 
And then look here, last card I'm going to pull, you have the Nine of Cups. All right. So I feel Sagittarius, this is about you, loving you first, uh, making your wishes come true here, uh, not worrying about what anybody else thinks. All right, I feel like uh, with this Five of Wands energy, there may be people around you that too can be causing some chaos, all right? Um, but this is about you being hopeful for the future, uh, making, you know, your wishes come true here, all right? So beautiful energy there. Again, could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We're gonna do possible outcome here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible outcome here for Sagittarius? And remember, um, possible outcome can change based on free will and choices made by you or other people in your life. But let's get three cards here for possible outcome. What's the possible outcome to the situation? We have the Four of Pentacles. The death card huh. and the eight of swords bottom of the deck king of swords yeah so I feel here Sagittarius you're really going to try and gain some clarity this week all right I feel like you're gonna really make decisions discern decisions okay intelligent decisions could also be dealing with an Aquarius Libra or Gemini all right. I feel here, Sagittarius, there may be a situation with a soulmate here that you've been holding back, okay? I feel like you've been holding back or maybe you were trying to hold on to this person or this thing, okay? Whatever it is. And destiny said, nope, you're letting it go. <laughs> that's what I'm getting okay destiny said no you're letting it go you got to let the past go is what I'm getting here okay and I'm feeling here Sagittarius you may f may have felt that it was safer for you to hold on to this is what I'm getting okay that's what spirit is telling me the next card you have is the death card so I feel like you're going through a transformation you're in a transition period this week all right um, you know with the world card I feel again I feel like there's something you're letting go right letting go of the past closing out old chapters okay bringing in the new opportunities here and they're good opportunities here could be dealing with the Scorpio as well um, so I feel like Sagittarius I feel like you're really going to see the light and a new beginning here like I said I think you had the full card um, yeah, you have the full card here. So I feel this is the start of new beginnings for you, Sagittarius, this week. But I feel like you're going to feel, you're going to feel some conflict over it or feel like you have a hard time moving forward into this new beginning because you have the hangman, the five of swords and the eight of swords. So your fear may be holding you back. Okay. Your fear may be holding you back from your wishes coming true is what I'm getting here. All right. But I feel here you're going to overcome that with clarity. Okay. With clarity, being logical, you know, making head over heart decisions. And then look here, you have the justice card. Could be dealing with the Libra. So I feel like you're going to gain some clarity and some balance, even though you may be feeling like you're stuck. Uh, you don't know what to do. You may be trying to please people around you, but just stay focused on you, Sagittarius. You know, stay focused on you. Angel love here. Do what you love. Do what um, feels good to you. Um, you know, on top of making those important decisions. But remember, loving you, loving you is really going to be the key here, okay? can't make everybody happy. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you gained some clarity on this reading. Uh, feel, uh, 
If you'd like to enter for the giveaway, again, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.